Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what's going on with the silence between the two of you. So why have they ghosted you, if they've ghosted you? Or why are they not communicating, not saying anything, not responding? What does this silence mean? I'm sure you all heard the quote, the saying that, you know, silence speaks volumes. So... You know what is it saying in this instance this is going to be a general reading please guys keep that in mind if you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself feel free to reach out and inquire my email address is going to be listed below the video in the show more section let's go ahead let's give the cards a shuffle and begin shall we Okay, so this silence between the two of you, this no contact, no communication, what's going on here is causing a lot of confusion for someone, maybe for the both of you, for yourself or your, for your person or for the both of you here. It's causing a lot of confusion, a lot of anxiety here as well. I'm picking up feelings of feeling really hurt and feeling really rejected here. I feel like this non-verbal expression, the fact that this person isn't talking, but I am seeing them perhaps doing things here that might, might leave you second-guessing your connection or your relationship with this person here. Okay, I feel like at a like a, a social and psych psychological level here with regards to your situation, the no contact, no communication could be a protective mechanism from a fear of being hurt because I'm picking up a fear in this energy um, or in this person or in this in, in, in um, your situation here. I think that this is someone who quite literally struggles to express their emotions or to even deal with their emotions okay and maybe i think it has a lot to do with their upbringing i think the origin of this lies in their uh like emotional environment so you know think back to childhood days young adulthood days maybe there were uh, their feelings here their emotions were very much dismissed as a child because i'm picking up a very insecure or a very anxious attachment style and it feels like this person really struggles to express themselves emotionally or find an emotional language so they're pulling back they're not communicating here because it's a protective mechanism they potentially might be scared of saying the wrong thing and adding more hurt and pain and you know tension to an already existing tense connection that could also be protecting you okay so and protecting this connection so further escalating things further causing pain here it's interesting here. I feel like this person has a problem with anger and has a problem like they have trouble with anger and they have trouble with hurt here. And it is silence is an attempt to protect you or to protect them here from causing each other more damage here. You know, you're left assuming their worst here. You're left assuming the worst. You're guessing what they're thinking, what they're feeling. You're feeling a sense of rejection. You know, someone here is experiencing huge concern, confusion and anxiety over the silence. There's no contact, there's no communication here. They could, they potentially could be using, and but this is at the extreme level, they could be using silence to punish and manipulate you. I do see a little bit of that. I am also seeing, for some of you, there is a third party situation. So there could be more than two energies involved in the situation. So they may already be in an existing relationship with someone else, in a partnership or a marital relationship. Perhaps you're in an existing relationship with someone else. Because I do feel like there's a lot of, uh, there is some toxicities that do plague this connection. So 
I feel like there's something dark. There's, I feel like there's a dark aspect about their energy here or a dark aspect about the connection. So, you know, in becoming involved with someone that you shouldn't, okay, or you fear becoming involved with someone because there's this uh, love triangle or this third party situation here. I feel like what you really want, or what they really want is to be able to understand this silence, okay? Even for themselves, because I feel like it, silence can be really puzzling, but maybe that's what they're trying to do is they're trying to pull away because they're trying to understand their emotions, okay? They might be feeling all sorts of things here, confusion um, being one of them. And this is, I feel like maybe this is also driving them crazy, the fact that they're feeling so, emo so emotional and they're just not understanding how to process it. I'm also seeing that your person might be giving you the silent treatment because he or she is being passive aggressive here and they're wanting to punish you but again that comes down to them at an emotional uh, level because I feel like this person is hurt themselves okay and they weren't raised in an environment where they could just openly discuss their feelings without it being discounted or dismissed and this person struggles to find this emotional language and this person might be hurt by something you've said or you've done uh, maybe there was a sense of in infidelity here uh, disloyalty here uh, and this is someone who feels like, you know, they've, could be you though, I'm not, whether it's you or this person, but this, this is an energy of someone feeling very hurt, rejected and abandoned here. So I think what you need to understand is the both of you are sort of, you're both quite confused by this silence. And, but you're both kind of processing the silence very differently. This person has gone, has crawled into this psychological cave where you know they're really trying to work things out they're really trying to work out their emotions they're really trying to work out and understand what it is that they feel or whether you know where this connection goes from here um, and how you know he or she is trying to understand what they need to do to fix this you know fix the roof what kind of supplies they need uh here um, they may come across you know silence doesn't necessarily always mean that they're not interested or you know that they are feeling indifferent or that they are being insensitive about the situation often it does but not always guys so it, it all, it's all about how you're receiving and you're responding and you're understanding their silence okay because i do feel like it, you know you're both very confused here if they're the ones that are staying silent you're very confused and you're very anxious over their silence here but this person i feel like they're not necessarily trying to hurt you they're just trying to protect you because they're just trying to understand that you know they're trying to understand how they feel or how they to fix this so their motivation for their silence could be very different to what you think it is and that's why it's you know you need to understand that it's very hard for this person in particular to really express their feelings and it's important that you don't sit here and you don't come to any really firm and rigid conclusions about why they're potentially keeping silent because you know you've got the moon card here which talks to us about illusions and this might not be what you think it is okay this might not be punishment it might not be toxic at all and it might not be purposeful it could for some of you i'm not saying don't rule that out but you need to use your own judgment your own intuition your own discretion here when it comes to this situation so you know it, it's People do a number of different things when it comes to sharing with their feelings. Sometimes people are very open and they just, you know, tell it like it is. They can be very blunt and very straightforward and just, you know, very direct. Other people um, pull away here. You know, they don't want to deal with this unwanted sense of vulnerability here. Um, it, it, people respond very differently and they process emotions very differently. So I feel like you have to exercise a little bit more patience with yourself because I ended this person because I can see that, you know, your your conclusions are running rampant here you know you're really thinking about this person and you know what their silence means but i think just try to give this person some time and some own space to go at their own pace to share their own feelings here okay let them know that it's you know their feelings are important to you and that you want to know what they're thinking here and at the same time encourage yourself to do the same but i think you just have to understand that you know, the silence means that there's a little things that are, it's a lot more than what you think, okay, there's a lot more beneath the surface here, okay, there's a lot more depth to it, and, you know, yeah, no doubt their silence can feel very hurtful or painful for you and very uh, rejecting here, but you need to be able to, you know, consider things from this person's perspective as well. 
because he, he or she might not be doing it to hurt you emotionally here um, but I think you need to be able to hear out their logical thoughts as well as their feelings because I just think that this person isn't wanting to talk about his or her emotions okay and I know you're probably getting very angry and very hurt and you're probably fearing and dreading the silence thinking that it could lead to the end of a connection the breakdown of this connection here it's probably very frustrating for you and for some of you I feel I'm seeing that it's kind of become a normal communication style you know them pulling away or them you know saying very little so you, you guys might have to develop some sort of coping strategy around this right uh, but try not to get very angry or fearful about this silence here because that's only going to be, you know, further damaging to the relationship and it's only going to discar dis uh, sorry, discourage you even more here. So I think just give this person space. See if you can... See if you can find together once you're, you know, willing to talk and once this person comes around. See if you can find, try and interpret this behavior pattern, okay? Why the both of you need to fall into the silent treatment here and see if you can find a way to sort of break that pattern. Find a more healthier solution here. Okay? Because I think this person is just, gen um, just, just more reserved by nature and I think what they're doing here... I know it feels like, you know, it's not fair for you. But I, I just feel like they have a very different mindset. And talking about things makes them feel helpless. And they don't want to feel that way. And I also feel like there's a lot of... There's more underneath this than what you think. I think there's some sort of psychological issue here. There could be like some pain, unhealed emotional wounds or trauma that are uh, floating around in their energy here. I just think there's more to this than you know. So don't be so quick to jump to any... Um, conclusions here. Don't be so quick to preempt what you think you might know because I think what you know might only be half of it. Okay? Um, Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching, listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing, subscribing to this channel. For those of you interested in a reading, feel free to reach out. Bye!